Let's talk about memory. You've heard of memory foam. It's a material that retains imprints when pressure is applied. You've also heard of memory found in computers or jump drives. This memory is digital data stored as a result of electronic encoding. But what is human memory and how is it created? Memories are representations of past experiences and the encoding of these memories depends on a structure in the brain called the hippocampus. Before we talk about the hippocampus, let's first talk about neuronal communication. Your brain consists of over 100 billion cells called neurons. These neurons work by communicating with each other using electrical and chemical signals. The electrical signal is called an action potential, which travels down the length of an axon. These occur very fast, most lasting less than just 5 milliseconds. Once the action potential reaches the axon terminal, it causes the release of neurotransmitters. These are chemical messengers that are able to cross the synapse and carry the signal to the next neuron, where they then initiate a new action potential. This is how neurons communicate. A single neuron can communicate with multiple other neurons. The brain contains over 100 trillion synapses, which makes the neuronal network really, really complicated. As you will see, this is important when we're talking about creating memories. Memories are encoded by generating a very specific code of neurons associated with a specific stimulus or experience. We'll go over how this works. When you view a stimulus, such as a dog, that image is turned into a neuronal signal through a process called transduction. This signal is sent to the hippocampus which acts as a supercomputer to generate a specific neuronal code for that dog. Once that code has been established, you now have a memory. Different stimuli are associated with different codes. When you see this dog, a certain pattern of neurons is activated. The pattern encodes the memory of the dog, and when you see the same dog, those same neurons are activated again. When you see a different stimulus, like a kitty cat, a specific pattern of neurons is activated. The same neurons are used, but a different neuronal pattern is generated. The region of the brain that creates the neuronal patterning is called the hippocampus. It's a bilateral structure, meaning there are two lobes, one on each side of the brain. The density of neurons in this region of the brain is much greater compared to other regions. This high density of neurons is important because it allows for the complicated and intense processing that must take place in order to generate individual codes for different experiences. As you well know, memories aren't just visual. You can remember how your cell phone feels in your hand, what your best friend's voice sounds like, the smell of fresh baked cookies, and you can remember the taste of your favorite soda. This is all possible because the hippocampus takes in information from all your senses and uses it to encode memories. Having an intact hippocampus is essential to form new memories, and only one lobe is necessary. One very famous case of hippocampal damage is patient HM. Doctors removed both of his hippocampi. After the surgery, HM was able to recall memories encoded before, but not after the surgery. Because of HM's odd case and others like it, neuroscientists learned about the vital role the hippocampus plays in memory formation. Without the ability to form new memories, you would constantly be living in the present with no ability to recall the past or plan for the future. Can you imagine what that would be like? Memories are what allow us to experience life, and we hope that this video has helped you gain a deeper appreciation for the hippocampus and its important role in memory formation.